Meal prep can be a bit overwhelming for some people and there are a lot of common, common mistakes that are made all the time. I'm gonna go over a few of those with you and hopefully you can either avoid making these mistakes or if you do already make these mistakes, you can identify a way to not make it again in the future. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer by training. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the most common meal prep mistakes. So let's get started. So if you have decided that, yes, you are going to follow your macros, yes, you are going to plan ahead, and yes, you are going to make sure you cook your meals in advance to make sure you stay on track, awesome. Kudos to you, congratulations on this new lease on life and this new approach to make sure that you're on track. However, meal prep can be a bit overwhelming for some people and there are a lot of common, common mistakes that are made all the time. So I'm gonna go over a few of those with you and hopefully you can either avoid making these mistakes or if you do already make these mistakes, you can identify a way to not make it again in the future. First thing, the most common thing, and this is gonna sound so basic and so obvious, but don't meal prep foods you don't like. If you are not a big fan of chicken, don't set yourself up for failure eating a menu that has chicken every single day. If you don't like broccoli, if you don't like chicken, don't, here's the thing, don't eat foods you do not like. If you are forcing yourself to eat foods you just genuinely do not like, but you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna suck it up, I'm gonna do this, you are only setting yourself up for failure because you are going to resent eating those foods, you are not going to enjoy eating those foods, and meal planning and meal prepping is not intended to be a punishment, is not intended to send into you to eating foods that you hate. So number one, stop working with menus of foods you do not like. I would encourage you to either get custom meal plans, to look up some recipes that you like, foods that you know taste good and are things that you can legitimately see yourself eating on a regular basis because you just like them. Another common, common meal planning mistake is overcooking meat. Again, overcooking meat. I think that for those of you who are not well versed in the kitchen, overcooking your meat and drying it out is the most common mistake and a reason why a lot of people don't like certain foods. So because of that, there is something you need to know about cooking. So if you are cooking foods, specifically protein sources that are on the lower fat spectrum, things like some fish, turkey, chicken, things in that realm, they will dry out a lot faster because there is less fat in them. And because of that, you need to be more strategic about how you go about cooking them. The rate at which you cook something is going to be very important. I have a whole meal prep tutorial video on how to cook chicken. One thing I like to do with chicken, obviously I like to season it very, very well, but the thing is, Chicken, obviously you need to cook it thoroughly because you don't wanna have any bacteria, salmonella, anything of that nature. But the thing is, if you want to like sear the outside of it and get a little bit crispier, you can certainly do so. But then the rest of the chicken, you need to cook it at a slower rate. So I think a lot of you guys are overcooking your chicken and drying it out. If I'm doing it in the oven, I'll cook it at a slower rate and I'll finish it up on the stove top just to add a little bit of browning to the chicken's skin to make it a little bit more flavorful with some seasonings. You can also go about it by using a crock pot, which will keep it very moist and juicy. Just stop cooking the crap out of your meat and drying it out, making it tough and chewy and awful because once you overcook a protein source, you can't go back. The bonds have already reoriented themselves as a result of the temperature you've exposed it to. So be a little bit more mindful about the rate at which you are cooking and follow recipes if you need to, but stop drying your chicken and making it terrible. Another common meal prep mistake is 
not purchasing enough groceries that you need. So pay close attention to the type of menus that you're following. So make sure like if the chicken or the protein sources are written into your meal plan as cooked, make note that raw meat is not going to yield the same amount as cooked meat. So for instance, some shrimp, chicken, fish, beef, you name it, will lose some water when you are cooking them. So make sure you account for that. I typically purchase about 1.2x the amount of meat I need in the raw form to yield the correct amount I need in the cooked form. Another meal prep mistake is just getting bored with your meals too quickly. If you are on day three to four of the same meals and those vegetables are just looking funky to you. They are just not as what you wanted them to be. It's easier to cook proteins and carbs in bulk and then just kind of switch out your veggies and just blanch them fresh that morning because that's one thing that I like to do and I have a whole lot of tips coming out in my ebook which will be launched this week all about meal planning for your success. So you definitely wanna check that out there. But don't cook too much food if you know you're not going to wanna to eat it anymore. That's what I'm saying guys. Meal planning can be your best friend, it can be your greatest asset and ally in just being strategic toward your goals, but don't cook more food than you will practically and realistically eat. And if that means you need to meal prep more times per week, then so be it as opposed to throwing food away that you just don't like. And last but not least is common meal prep mistake is not utilizing seasonings. You guys, there are so many great ways to flavor your food with minimal to insignificant calories. And I encourage you to utilize these approaches. Anything with like lemon or lime is obviously gonna be great. Tons of herbal seasonings, anything from thyme, cilantro, basil, oregano, cumin. Yes, they have a tiny bit of calories, but the amount in my opinion is insignificant to the point that I don't count them. Anything spicy, anything with like the vinegars, like apple cider vinegar, balsamic, even though balsamic does have a little bit of calories, with those types of things, I consider those things to be free foods unless you are on contest prep and you have a very extreme caloric deficit that you need to hit. I wouldn't stress out about those, but get creative with your spices, get creative with your seasonings, and make sure, again, that it's food you like, that it's food you could practically see yourself eating again in the future. And if you don't like the food, don't eat it. So I encourage you guys to be a bit more demanding and exacting in what it is you want out of your food. And if your current meal prep, diet, whatever regimen you're following is just not something you would actually see yourself eating, then don't do it and request something customized for you. If you want something custom, I encourage you to go to gaydrawltraining.com, pick up a customized meal plan where you can say, I like this food, I don't like this food. These are things I like to eat, these are things I don't like to eat. And ask for those things and it shall be given. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you in the next one.